Scorpio, welcome back to Shacy Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to our channel. I'm still doing the Moonology giveaway. For those of you that already entered, don't double, triple enter because I write down all the names. So if you're already there, um, you've already been entered, not to worry, okay? So thank you for uh, putting your name in. And for those of you that are brand new, if you'd like to have a chance to win the Moonology deck, absolutely free. I will ship wherever you are. It's just, I was given this deck by Usagi, one of the moderators for the channel. She's given me several decks and I thought I would give back by doing a giveaway. So that's what we agreed to do. And um, anyhow, it's a fantastic deck. I'm gonna use my deck for you. There's another deck intact here. Uh, so that you can see what it's like for those of you that have never experienced it i'm going to go ahead and get started but all you need to do is hit the like button the thumbs up subscribe hit the notification bell so that if you're one of the lucky winners you will be notified okay i'm going to do a, a video at the end of the month announcing who the lucky winner is and then i will ask you for your information um so i will announce that as well and you will know how to reach me okay so don't forget to do that leave a comment down below let me know you're interested just for those of you that haven't already entered that wish to do so okay i have everybody else written down let's get started i want to pull three messages i know we're anxious i'm a fellow scorpion thank you for being here again and let's see what's going on if this resonates for you there will be a part two that will be listed down below in the description area as well as in the comment section i'll get more into that in a minute spirit wants you to know that scorpio this tough cycle we've all been through the end is in near okay but just remember all dreams need a, a practical plan okay for them to be successful um and that is so important. Spirit wants you to know nothing yet is set in stone. So if you think something is set, it's already done. Spirit's saying no. The end of a tough cycle is approaching. Something is changing for you. And you will need to have a practical plan set up at the end of the day. Okay, you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Capricorn. Okay, let's just go ahead and see what is going on here. I want to get some advice and guidance messages as well. For us so important right Scorpio yes it is <laughs> this is one of my latest editions I love them I don't remember what they're called I really don't but I love them okay first message out honor the magic of the land be nature's friend and ally assist in recreating mother earth's original garden of pure wonder we've had this several times Scorpio and I feel like it's really important because you know, we do love nature so very much and uh, spirit wants you to kind of spread that love of, you know, the magic of the land, just everything that's so beautiful out there, the birds, the trees, the different nature, the different animals, you know, allowing other people to see through your eyes, the beauty of nature. Okay. All right. Next message, spend time reclaiming your balance. There you will find peace. So for those of you who aren't feeling balanced right now, because you're stuck in a, t you know, a very tough cycle, spirit wants you to know that you'll be able to sp spend time in nature, enjoy yourself soon because the end of that tough cycle is approaching. I'm going to go ahead and use the Neo Rider deck. This was also donated by Usagi and I love them. I'm going to use the other deck, the gold foil deck for whoever you are, um, Whoever's on your mind, Scorpio, it can be a love interest, an ex, a crush, it could be a co-worker, a boss, whatever is going on, a family member, we're going to dig. So you will know how it resonates for you. Take what does, leave what doesn't, divine timing. So if this isn't resonating for you now, it definitely can resonate in the future. Okay, personal readings at shacy.com. They are open. You can check that out if you wish. And thanks to you, those of you who have donated to the channel. I truly appreciate it. It's very sweet of you to do so. It's definitely not expected, but always appreciate it, okay? Let's see what's going on. Ooh, Scorpio, you may be manifesting. Spirit says that if you're not, you know, you definitely have it within your power to manifest anything you want, Scorpio. Okay, you have all the tools available to you to manifest what you want, okay? Whether that's work, career, um, a hobby, travel a relationship whatever it is Ooh, yeah baby chariot could be dealing with cancer here but you know it's all about the energy this is about moving forward this is about going towards your rightful path you're manifesting you're trying to make it happen uh some of you could be trying to make travel happen here or buying a new car maybe you want to buy a new car um, but either way this is about going after what's meant for you making it happen very nice Clarify the chariot for Scorpio. Could be dealing with another water sign here. Mm -hmm. Or this is all you, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with the chariot. What are we manifesting here? Moving forward, travel, 
Ooh, the plot thickens. So there's the end of that tough cycle. So this is about manifesting moving forward. I'm ending a tough cycle here. I'm starting brand new. I've become very clear that I can make things happen in my life. I can move forward here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Travel, a relationship, buying a new home could be relocation, ending something in your life that's been painful. You can make it happen here. Okay, but just remember, Scorpio, your plans do need a practical plan. Someone's ending toxicity or something with a Capricorn or whatever they felt bound and tied to that was toxic, unhealthy, and painful. That cycle is coming to an end. We're moving forward toward our rightful path. Excellent. Could be codependency if you are codependent. Oh my goodness, we are so moving on. Six to the seven of swords, Scorpio. This is, I'm just so shiny. <laughs> beautiful. Um, we're moving on. We're leaving the past behind. Could be travel. This can be definitely re relocating here. Mm -hmm. uh, now, a lot of this is thoughts right now, but the chariot, we're trying to actually make it happen in the 3D. We're thinking about how to make it happen in the 3D. Okay. So yeah, we're totally wanting to leave this rough patch behind. It's been too painful, too toxic too codependent or something like that. I'm ready to move forward, buy a new home, relocate, um, create something new for myself, take what I can and move forward here and not look back. Somebody's not looking back. Ooh, oh, I love it. Scorpio just keeps getting better. Three of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. We're moving towards everything we could hope and wish for here. Divine timing is at play. This is a turning point. Something's changing. Somebody's actually trying to make things happen here. It's like, I want to work together with you, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. But this can also be you talking about others and how to make things happen. Could be dealing with a King of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Somebody that's willing to put in the work with you, Scorpio, or somebody you work with. This can also represent that we're working towards our abundance, our happiness, moving forward successfully here. And we're working with other team players here. It can be. Or you are dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo here. I also have Aquarius, another Scorpio, Leo here as well. Definitely moving forward to something better, Scorpio. Yes, this is great. This is like teamwork. Let's work together to build things here, to make things happen, to, you know, leave the past behind. I've dealt with my karma or I'm dealing with it. I'm closing this and I'm moving forward. So this is, yeah, totally being able to leave the past behind. But again, I feel like the three of pentacles with the king of pentacles here, you know, we are definitely coming up with a practical plan. We're talking to others or we're working together on how to do this, you know, in a very fair way. Like, you know, we're being smart about how we are coming together, working together. So it definitely can be a business partner, um, a coworker. Um, or this is somebody, you know, this is all you Scorpio. Uh, with a business plan, you've been through a rough patch and you're ready to move forward and this things are changing for you. But you've had to deal with a lot. You've had to deal with a lot and it's been painful, but you're, you're ready to move forward here. Either moving again or um, buying a new car, traveling here for some of you here, buying a new home for others of you here, traveling over water for others. But this is all like you know, talking, collaborating with someone else and coming up with that practical plan. It can be a lover. It, it can be somebody that you're, you know, you already feel like you are committed to or you're looking toward commitment here. It can be. But mostly I feel like this is about let's, I want to build this. I want to be stable. I want to move forward. I'm going to leave the past behind and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to start to work on that with you Scorpio or this is all you but for me the king of pentacles is somebody who wants commitment in a long term so you could be coming out as the king of pentacles or you're dealing with a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo or somebody has that strongly in their chart that wants to work together with you and wants to change things with you and wants to leave the past behind if they if you weren't stuck in a toxic cycle with this person they want to change that they want to leave the past behind and start brand new with you and they want to um, be very honest, to be very clear. 
I'm talking to others. I'm figuring out how to move forward. That's what I'm getting you or whoever you're dealing with. Let's get their energy, Scorpio. Let me know how this is resonating for you. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Is Scorpio's person of interest now or in the near future coming toward them? Who Scorpio is or will be dealing with them in the near future? What are the messages? So part two, if you want to join the Shacy Spiritual Warrior membership family that gives you unlimited part twos, you can check that out at the link below in the description area comment section. Okay, uh, that's a lot less expensive way to get unlimited part twos. Or you can do the pay as you go upper right hand corner at the end of this reading. It'll say part two watch now. Doesn't matter to me. It's all an option that you both asked for. So that way you get the best of both worlds. Okay, see what's going on. What is going on? And by the way, apparently it doesn't work on an Apple phone, Android phone that works on and desktop. So or copy and paste maybe into the web browser. I'm not sure about that, but don't forget to check your other placements. I resonate with my sun, my moon, my rising and my Venus. So you can get a full picture by doing that. So if you click on Chasey Tyrone, you know what your other placements are check out and listen to the other readings. I totally encourage it. It's very helpful. And you can go to astrosofa.com or click in uh, the Google search for free birth chart and find out what your other placements are. It's free. So, you know, you can definitely get a lot more benefit out of doing that. Yeah, somebody's realizing here that, you know, I'm stuck. I'm overthinking. I want to go towards my happiness here. The sun is one of the most desired cards in the whole deck of Tarot. So this is like, you know, I want to go towards what is meant for me here. Chariot as well, sun. Okay, so I feel like your person is gaining the clarity that they have been feeling stuck and overthinking. They're becoming very clear that, you know, they can manifest here. For some reason, whoever you're dealing with, and again, Scorpio, feel free to flip the energies. If it's not you, it's your person or who's coming towards you. It's like, I've been feeling stuck, but I'm gaining the clarity that I can manifest if I figure this out, how to move forward. Somebody wants to become unstuck. They want to leave the past behind. It's too stressful. Or you're ready to leave the past behind, Scorpio, because you're fed up. It could be. But that's not how I'm viewing this, okay? Yeah, because you've got the Three of Cups. Celebration, happiness. I'm realizing that I want to spend time with you, have a good time with you here. I want to get away from where I am. It's too painful. I need to leave this behind. This is the turning point. The person you're dealing with or will be dealing with Scorpio is becoming very clear that they can manifest what they want. They can go after their happiness, that they can work well together with you to build a connection or even a business for some of you here. Uh, it could be a friendship. It could be uh, heading toward commitment with the King of Pentacles here. But it's like I'm gaining the clarity that, you know, I can have a really good time. I can build together. It's like a decision's already been made. This is the turning point because now I'm clear on what I want. I'm clear that it's too painful here, that I can leave it behind and that I can move forward as long as I have a practical plan. Somebody's building a practical plan to come towards you, Scorpio, or this is all you. Um, let's clarify the three of cups for Scorpio. What do we need to know? Oh, wow. I want to celebrate this new beginning in love with you. I love you. Reclarify the eight of swords though. Somebody's overthinking this. Okay, spirit is saying that somebody's kind of like overthinking perhaps how to do this like I want to say making a mountain out of a mohill like overdoing it overthinking it clarify the eight of swords for Scorpio's person of interest what are they overthinking or over analyzing eight of swords over swords it could be doing a lot of oh <laughs> Woo! they're trying to contain their excitement of how happy they are Scorpio about this new beginning in love with you they're trying to pretend here <whistles> whoa I'm holding up the reins I'm trying to pretend that I'm not in love with you I'm pretending that I'm not excited that I don't know or feel what's going on somebody's holding themselves back Scorpio could be you but could be a Leo they're strong Leo somebody may have strong Leo in their chart okay but this is like, I'm really trying to hold back, you know, 
Um, somebody could be purposely making themselves stuck because they want to have that practical plan. Mm -hmm. But could be kind of overdoing it, you know. Could be over practical, which doesn't surprise me. The King of Pentacles, because the King of Pentacles is very much feet in ground. <laughs> And I'm going to keep them there. I'm going to keep my feet locked in the ground and you ain't going to move me unless it's absolutely necessary. That's right. Okay, Scorpio. Woo, they're dropping out like flies. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is awesome. Six of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Trust your intuition, Scorpio. This person wants a very balanced relationship here with you they've got a lot of love for you they want to celebrate with you they want to spend time with you here and it's become very clear to them that you know i need to leave this toxic past behind me in order to do that i want things to change and i need to come up with a practical plan as well as how to move forward but it's like they're controlling their feelings here about how open they are to this new beginning in love with you here is what I'm getting. Because we've also got the high priestess. So it's like we're, we're, we're holding back and we're keeping it a secret to ourselves that we want this equal give and take. We want to come together here. But again, it's, we're allowing ourselves to feel stuck emotionally because we're ending this toxic cycle and things are changing, but we also want to manifest how we're going to move forward. So your love interest or whoever this is for you, Scorpio, holding themselves back until they have a practical plan in place, because this is somebody that, again, likes their feet firmly planted in the ground and they don't want to make a mistake. They want everything to, you know, um, to build a strong foundation or a business with you. Um, a partnership it could be because I've got the six of pentacles and this is like giving equally here uh, they see that they can have a very balanced relationship with you and give equally in this connection maybe they feel like they don't have enough to do that yet I'm not seeing that here let's keep digging what's a secret here or the high priestess what do we need to trust our intuition on the high priestess could be waiting for a payout for the high priestess what are we keeping quiet here trust needing to trust our intuition on with the high priestess for scorpio's person of interest now or in the near future what is going on the high priestess remember whenever you hear these messages or you were drawn to this video is when you are totally meant to hear it scorpio oh keeping it to myself i'm financially independent i'm doing well i'm single i'm available Clarify the Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio's person of interest. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so we're stuck, we're in limbo. I feel like your person coming towards you, Scorpio, has looked at a different perspective. We're trying to look at a different perspective. There's definitely love here and I want to move forward, but it's in divine timing with the wheel of fortune because I'm ending a toxic cycle in my life and I have to deal with my karma. So your person has to deal with their end and wrap it up, I feel here. And possibly wait for a payout or talk to attorneys or, you know, it's just like they want to give equally here they want to have something practical in place here and they're in limbo at the moment but they've definitely gained the clarity that they love you that they want to spend time with you that they can have an equal partnership with you this is what i'm get, getting mm, queen of wands four of cups so they may be closing a chapter with the queen of wands this has come up a lot in leo sagittarius or aries where they have to take the action here they're unhappy um they could be rejecting a queen of wands but this can also they're worried about you rejecting them if you're coming up as a queen of wands who's this queen of wands for scorpio 
Who's this Queen of Wands for Scorpio's person of interest? Clarify the Queen of Wands. Mm. They may be worried that you're sick and tired of everything here. Either you are sick and tired of the way everything has kind of been going, Scorpio. They feel like you're fed up, that you're just tired of everything. Or this can represent, because I have the Ten of Swords over here and the Devil energy, that they are completely fed up with this Queen of Wands, that they are maybe with currently here, okay, or dealing with here. It could be anybody. But they're bored with that person. They're unhappy. You know, I, I'm ready to lay down all these responsibilities. I'm ready to let it go. It's too much of a burden. You know, I can't find anything here I'm interested in. And I'm ready to, you know, head out, move on, go towards my happiness here. Bottom of the deck. Wow. Again, the magician. So magician on both sides. I'm ready to take the action to lay this down. I'm unhappy here. I'm looking at another perspective here and realizing that I want balance in my life. I want an equal connection here. I want love. You know, I'm gaining the clarity here that instead of feeling stuck I and holding myself back, I really can manifest. If I have a practical plan, I can take the action because I'm not happy here. But this can also represent if your person is involved with a queen of wands, They're refusing that person. They're letting them go. And that's what's being held secret here. Quiet. Oh, my God. Seriously. Scorpio. <laughs> See, I want to take the action. There you go. Action Jackson here. Okay. We want to take the action. We want to manifest. We want to lay down this burden. It's been too painful. It's been too so toxic. I want to leave it behind. Mm-hmm. But it, oh, yeah. We're becoming very defensive. We're standing our ground. We're ready to fight for what we want here, Scorpio. I'm, I'm ready to leave the past behind. This is, this is, I'm unhappy here. I'm bored and I'm trying to calculate how to get out of here. Yeah, I'm ready to take the action. Oh my gosh, yeah. I wanna go after my hopes, my dreams, my wishes. I wanna go where I can be my true authentic self here. I want to heal. Very nice energy. It's nice energy because somebody's actually realizing that they can take control of their life and they can move forward, that they are not stuck. It's like, I've, I've instead of just seeing here now, I'm able to see here now where I couldn't see before. It's like I couldn't see the forest through the trees, but now I'm realizing that I can let this go. You know, that I'm thoroughly unhappy here. I've had other opportunities, but none of them are any good. And it can be that, you know, <laughs> I'm sick of the up other opportunities I've had. For others of you, though, your person is worried that you're letting them go and that you may refuse their offer. Why is the Four of Cups here for Scorpio's person of interest? OMG. Could be dealing with an emperor, but that was too many that came out. Why is the Four of Cups here for Scorpio's person of interest? Why is the Four of Cups here? They don't know how you feel about marriage or commitment or a long-term yeah, long-term marriage or commitment with them. They're not sure if you're just all about the passion, the intensity, the fun, because you go after what you want, Scorpio, or that's what they're seeing. And they may be worried that, you know, you're you're not into marriage and commitment and long-term here, whereas they are with the King of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. They may be looking at you like you're fed up because they've also been hiding their feelings. This is somebody who's very traditional Scorpio. May have a Pisces moon as well. Could be dealing with a Taurus or Pisces. Pisces here, Scorpio, Cancer. But this is the thing. We, we've got the High Priestess and the Hierophant. You're both highly spiritual. So you may be both trying to trust your intuition on this as well. It's both spiritually gifted. Both look at each other as each other's wish, perhaps. Realizing that you can be authentic with each other, have an equal give and take, be team players here. 
but I definitely feel like your person is realizing here with the magician on both sides, you can both manifest. I feel like you're both magicians. You both know how to make things happen here. Again, the high priestess and the Hierophant. I feel like you both know how to manifest. I feel like your person is held back here. But I feel like they're not going to anymore because we have the Knight of Wands. We have the Chariot here, you know. Um, we have the Ace of Cups and, you know, this is kind of like, I can't, ten of, ten of Swords on this side, Ten of Wands, I can't take this anymore. You know, I have this new blessing and, and I need to manifest it, you know. Um, if the King of Pentacles is already in a marriage or commitment, they are coming up with a practical plan on how to deal with their karma, deal with, you know, closing this, this end of this tough, 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 ugh, tongue twisted, tough cycle. They are, you know, manifesting, closing that tough cycle so that they can become single and financially independent so that they can have this balanced connection with you. Boy, yeah. See, look at the Ace of Swords, Ten of Swords to the Ace of Swords. We're becoming very clear. Yeah, this is the clarity. Ba Bing. I love you, Scorpio. I want a balanced connection with you. I can be my true, authentic self with you. Let's pull some tarot charms. I'm going to shut up now. We're, it's going to turn into a long one again, Scorpio. It always does, doesn't it? Okay, let's see what we got here. Ooh, I like it already. Very. Oh, my. Again. Oh, Scorpio. <gasps> Ah, oh, Angel Gabriel is watching over you and your connection and your life. Very nice. And Spirit is saying you can have growth here. There's the flowers. Beautiful. And I really like this. Scorpio. We have Warrior. Somebody is standing up and they are fighting for what they want. Okay? Because they're not happy where they are. And... I'm trying to find it. Yeah, stand your ground. Be the warrior. Either you or whoever you're dealing with needs to stand their ground and be the warrior. Because there's something toxic here that needs to end with the Ten of Swords and the Devil. This means that this has been a very painful, toxic cycle that has been very unhealthy. And it's totally time to say sayonara, baby, or wherever you're leaving behind. Okay, here's the rough waters. There's the, the nice calm waters. Go to where it's calm and happy. Why would you want to stay here where it's so awful and toxic and unhealthy? No, no thanks. So this is that turning point. Wheel of Fortune, okay? Major arcana means major life-changing events here. Major life-changing events. Spiritual leader, okay? High Priestess, spiritual leader. Trust your intuition. Trust your divine path. You can both manifest exactly what you want. You are the magicians. You have the power to create what it is you so desire. And Spirit is saying as long as you deal with your karma and you do things karmically correct here. You come up with a plan and you are the warrior and you stand your ground as to what you know and feel is right for you. That you do have the higher ground. You see how he has the higher ground? Everybody's down here. He's up there. He's He's got the higher ground there. He or she, it doesn't matter. The point is we've got the higher ground. And look at that. We've got the four of wands and the five of swords. This is like, I'm willing to do whatever it takes, okay, to have this celebration, this reunion, this marriage, this commitment, this happiness, this freedom. Because where I am is full of toxicity, and I'm gaining the clarity that, you know, I don't have to stay in limbo. I can stand my ground. I don't have to be this unhappy. You see, like, because before we weren't able to see this cup. We were very focused on the toxic cycle we have been stuck in. We're getting out of that now. We're starting to fight. We're becoming very clear here that we can go after our happiness with the sun. The sun is one of the most desired cards again. It's, it's about going after your happiness, your hopes, your dreams, your wishes with the star energy, going towards your destiny. We have the chariot and we have wheel of fortune. Three cards from the universe and the angels specifying that, you know, it's time for you to go after what is meant for you here. I love it. This is so awesome. I've made a big mess, but that's okay. That's what I like to do. I get so involved 
and a Scorpio's do. And we have the tree here. So again, Scorpio, this has come up several times. So I feel like nature may be very, very important with the tree here, with the flowers. Uh, but I also feel like this is could be around the holidays times, like December, January. Doesn't matter if you celebrate or not. It's the point that uh, th I believe that, you know, is when there's going to be some kind of perhaps forward movement here. It could be. <laughs> Somebody may be a workaholic. Scorpio could be you. <laughs> no two ways about it. Uh, but this is like working very hard. Okay, working very, very hard here. Okay, Spirit wants you to be in the mindset of gratitude. Okay, be grateful for what you have. Don't overwork yourself here. Okay, yeah, let's get one more for us Scorpios. OMG, just flying. Okay, so yeah, some of you may work in the service industry here, or that's what you hope to do. You help to serve and guide others here as the high priestess of the Hierophant, or your person could be in the service industry helping others. Somebody could be in the state of grief right now, okay, because again, the Ten of Swords, this has been very painful, okay? So somebody could be grieving right now, mm -hmm. and somebody could be ultimately throwing themselves into their work because of that grief. They could be working themselves crazy. So Scorpio, that could be you. It could be who you're dealing with. Let's go ahead and pull a couple of mutual energies. So in part two, I'm going to sneak peek into October and November because we're getting close. I can't believe it. We're almost in our birthday season, Scorpio. And then I'm going to pull the Twin Flame Oracle as well for those of you feeling that you may be in a Twin Flame connection because I've been hearing a lot from you. And I'm going to pull messages from the heart. We're just going to dig in the Tarot of Sexual Magic. And I'm going to, you know, see what's happening in the next few months here. What's going on for Scorpios with our person of interest? How are we mirroring one another when it comes to our connection? How are we mirroring one another when it comes to our connection? For the balance of September, beginning of October. Okay, so here's the moon energy again. It's like you're both trying to trust your intuition. Remember, we had the high priestess and the hierophant, and we have the moon here. So it's kind of like you're both overanalyzing here because you're both overthinking because you're trying to trust your intuition here. And so you may have this certain intuitive, you know, downloads. You feel like this is happening, but you may be kind of questioning, well, am I? Is, is this, is that how they feel? Is that how I feel? Like, you know, um, are they feeling the same way? Like you're both kind of overthinking things, trying to analyze everything. And you both are kind of like worried about what might be hidden here. Okay. Questioning it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, high priestess. You're both the high priestess. I'm telling you what. You're both magicians. You're both like high priestess. One of you is a hierophant. One of you is more traditional. Scorpio, I feel that's your person with the king of pentacles here. Three pentacles, six of pentacles. I feel like you're more the high priestess, okay? You, you go a bit more with the flow here. Mm -hmm. You break tradition a little bit, a lot maybe. <laughs> At the end of the day, you both want the same thing. You want peace and calm. You want peace and calm. Mm -hmm. You want to be able to be your true authentic selves. Yeah, you're both doing a lot of thinking. So I feel like there's a period of silence here between the two of you. You're both trying to trust your intuition on what the unknowns are. You're both overanalyzing, though. Oh, you're both very, very courageous and very strong. I see that with the warrior here as well. One more. Okay, two more. Wow. Okay, so you may have both gone through a spiritual awakening. You both want a fresh start. Again, leaving the toxic cycle behind, starting brand new. So if you were in a toxic cycle together, they want to start brand new with you. They're trying to come up with a plan to do that. Again, flip the energies as necessary. Um, I feel like you could be at the same level here, Scorpio, because again, you're both magicians here. Yeah, see, there's the star energy. You're both having the faith, the hope, and wish that you can come together. Mm -hmm. You both feel like you can be real with each other, but you both overthink it. But you're both, you know, great manifestors here is what I'm seeing here. And if your person's not looking at another viewpoint, I feel like spirit is telling them to look at another viewpoint in order to stop overthinking and to um, break out of this cycle here. 
Okay, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to start digging into part two. I'm going to pull the Psychic Tarot. I'm going to pull the Energy Oracle. Find out where the energy of this connection now or coming towards you in the future is. More Tarot Charms. We are just going to dig, get messages from your person from the heart. Some Twin Flame messages. Don't forget about the Moonology giveaway. And I thank you all for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you for returning. And for those of you brand new, if you subscribe, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your donations. For those of you that have donated, I appreciate you all so very much. Happy weekend or whenever you hear these messages. And again, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and support your fellow Scorpions. So for those of you seeing me in part two, I will be right there. For those of you seeing me next time, I will see you in a few days. Namaste. Bye for now. And thank you to Robert, Usagi, Goodman, and Jen so very much, as always, for moderating the channel. I appreciate you always. Thank you very much. Bye for now, everyone.